Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video on the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at the content that is out. Team of the Season is mere days away. So obviously, get hyped in the comments. Get hyped everywhere you can. Let me know on social media how you are doing on this fine day and how excited you are. Obviously, this is the screen that they've got. It actually looks kind of clean. The new rewards that are coming. We'll have a look at everything that is out, we'll have a look at all the changes that are going to be made, we'll discuss them, and we'll see whether they're worth it or not. Obviously, it's a good time to be playing FIFA. TOTS Rewards Update. During Team of the Season, we'll be updating rewards in Foot Champions, Divs Rivals, and Squad Battles, for some reason. Check the rewards section of each mode over the coming days to see the updated rewards for each mode of rank. During TOTS, the Foot Champions final event will start at 8pm. Each day, and I think it's extended by 24, by 48 hours, just because of the fact that, obviously, if they're going to put Tots Rewards in, they have to wait until the team is actually in packs, which is a bit dumb. They could just wait until Thursday, or Friday, Australian time, to put the packs in, and put the players in the packs, but unfortunately, that is not how it is. And then Team of the Week 26, which is out tomorrow, here, or Wednesday for some of you, the 26th, that'll be the last Team of the Week, which that means if you want to open your saved packs for Team of the Weeks, you may have to open them now, just because afterwards you're not actually going to get any Team of the Weeks back, which is... Or you're going to get the same Team of the Week, and thus it's going to be oversupplied if people have too many Team of the Week packs lying about. And to celebrate TOTS, EA have done their usual thing of giving you all the points to qualify, which is a bit pointless, but it's also a bit smart. And we'll look at the content, obviously ignore the objectives, ignore the other things, ignore everything that's on this account, by the way. So, we've got the... I don't think anything's here. I think it's all here. So we'll start with this. Now this, I like, but I also despise, right? I like, but I also despise. It's a bit scummy for me, eh? So, yeah, you need to play one, play five, win one, and win five in champs or finals. That is just five matches that you will play or win. Shouldn't take you too long. That's just a few packs, some player picks, and some packs. This one is where it gets a bit scummy, and I understand, and people have pointed this out, it says opening weekend. It says opening weekend. You need to get three wins with a full league squad from each of the five leagues to get a pack. I am very much against this, unfortunately. Very much against this, and I'll tell you why. Because not everyone has the coins, or has the untradeables, or has the players to use a full league squad, especially for the likes of the Bundesliga, or the Serie A, maybe even La Liga to an extent. I just don't like it. Obviously, it's an opening weekend, but I wish, for example, it would be you have to use X amount of players that's not full 11, so you can still use other players, and you can still have a fun team, but you can still use a different set of players. Say, for example, five League One players, or five Serie A players, and you get the pack. But do it every week. Don't just do it, for example, on this weekend. Do it every weekend, except have it specifically for each league. So if you use five Prem players and get the wins, and you get more, there should be four or five objectives for each. Probably three or four, just to get a few packs. And then obviously you've got, what, your logins. Today is a 383. And then the next one is not for three days afterwards, which is a bit annoying. I don't really know if I like this daily login system. They should have just had a, a weekly thing and had different rewards, but it is what it is. And then the SBC content, of course, we'll have a look at that as well. The main one, and I have a bit of a gripe with this. I'm sure a lot of people do as well. Lois Appender, on the base of it, right? On the base of it, he does look quite good. 99 pace, 89 shooting. 88 dribbling and 90 physical with that 90 strength, 99 jumping as well. He's not lengthy or anything. He'll be controlled, which is not the best, not the worst. And the issue here, he also has solid player finesse shot as well outside the foot. For your Travellers, 
But the main issue, right, and I'm sure a lot of people have noticed and picked up on this, is that he's 3 star 3 star in May, basically. It's the 26th of April when I'm recording this. We're basically in May. This time next week, it's going to be May. He just needs that 4 star 4 star. And I know people will say, he's going to get a tots. He probably will. You're right. He's had a lot of performances for RC Lens this season in League 1. He'll probably get a tots. Whether it be an SBC, probably a normal card. Because he already has an SBC out right now. But I just do not rate this from EA. Like, it's 3 star, 3 star. At least make it 4 star. Weak foot or four star skills give us a reason to want to complete this card. In saying that, a lot of people will complete this card anyway. That is just my thinking. He is 99 pace, so people will complete him. He is quite cheap. Even though the price of fodder is expensive right now, it's an 83 and an 84 with a team of the week and a league on player. Everyone should have at least one of those squads right now, and you will rip so many packs over the course of the next few weeks, this is there for 30 days obviously, as is tradition, 29 days, you have four weeks to get packs to build this team. So, will you get it done? Let us know in the comments. I, I would expect everyone to get it done. I would expect that if you don't get it done, you're going to miss out on quite a good card, and he's just going to be an absolute menace off the bench, and people are going to be complaining all over Twitter how good he is. But... The last thing I wanted to look at, right, and I'm not sure if this is going to cover what we've looked at already or whatnot, but EA put out a link on Twitter, so we're going to have a look at that, wherever the that is. So it says, starting today, you'll be able to see changes making place. So, foot champs, for example, it says, Tots foot champs red items have long made up a significant part of the Tots campaign, and if foot 23 were excited to remove these items, we'll have an actual design now. They'll have an actual design, and they'll be made available as a red if they're in packs. So, there's a bit of a mistake here, I believe. A bit of a mistake, which they kind of need to rectify, I think, because there's no rest of world tots. That's a bit concerning, isn't it? That is a bit concerning, if you ask me. There's no rest of world tots. That is a little bit concerning for the likes of the fans of all the other leagues, because there's not that many leagues, they're saving League of Portugal for last, they're doing Irida Busy twice, that just seems a bit wrong to me, and I hope that EA either rectify this or give us a Rest of World Tots at some point, because where is Rest of World Tots it is actually one of the better Tots releases, and for people like myself, it gives us a chance for a card like a Craig Goodwin or a Dimi Petratos, which we might not get now, I'm a bit nervous. So it says, right? So this is a bit weird, right? This is a bit weird. It says, For TOTS 23, we'll be adding TOTS rewards at milestones at the end of Season 6. You can receive a range of TOTS loan rewards. Loans. For Divisions 4 and above, you'll be competing to earn Foot Champs Reds depending on your Division and Milestone rank. In addition to the Milestone rewards, Elite Divs will be receiving... The Reds for Tots. Good stuff. It's just a bit weird. But we'll have a look at that in the coming days. And then Squad Battles. Again, it's the exact same schedule. It's just... Yeah, you can get a certain Tots for the rank. And it's just... It's just all a bit weird, really. It's just quite weird. I don't understand why they needed to do every game mode. And why they're waiting so long. I get it. it. It sounds cool. It incentivizes people to play. Just to get the extra chance at a team of the season. It might not be very good. But it will still be somewhat making people want to play the game. Overall, the changes are a bit of a dub. It is a bit of a shame for some of the things that have come out. But overall, team of the season isn't even here yet. So we're probably judging things a bit too early. Let us know. In the comments, whether you're excited for Tots, what you're excited for, who you're excited for. And if you did make it this far, hit the sub button, hit the like, so you want to see more content like this. And I will catch you all in the next one.